Welcome back guys to the Home Cooking Hunter. Today I got an extra special recipe for you as always. I wanted to come up with something hearty and simple to make. So I came up with this, Hunter's Pie. It's delicious. I would venture to say it's probably one of the best recipes I've actually come up with and the simplest to make. So what you're going to need to start off this recipe is first about a pound or so of venison. Now you can just kind of see at the bottom I bled my venison out. I always do that with my ground meat. I put it in a bowl for as long as I can to let the blood drain. I've already drained this once. Next, I got 16 ounces of pepper jack cheese. Now I shred this myself. I grab two eight ounce blocks from the store, shred it up. It melts a lot better so you get that gooey stringiness that comes with uh, the cheese that we mm, love so much. Next, I got half of a sweet onion. Just chop it up and it's ready to go. After that, we got diced jalapenos. Um, I put this in after I cook the meat and it's about three or four heaping tablespoons. Now when I say tablespoon, I mean an actual tablespoon, not the measuring thing. Get you a tablespoon, get that sucker out of the bowl or to your taste. And after that, you'll need some butter. We're going to use this butter to baste. Did you get that? All right. We're going to use this butter to baste the crescent roll dough that we're going to use to make the pie. So, first what we want to do is get some cooking spray and spray bottom of our pan. So we don't want our pie sticking to the bottom of the pan. There we go. I hate these things. They're like bulletproof. Just take this, there we go, and roll it out in our pan. And what you can, try to get it up the sides of the pan as much as possible. Or baking dish, I should say. So we get it up the sides, around the chaw. And these are the, this is the bigger roll, the 12 ounce roll of crescent dough. When you go there, you're gonna see the eight ounce, and 12. I got the 12 ounce to make sure that I have enough to do what I need to do. Where's the other end of this sucker at? It's like freaking when the tank breaks. Did you need to brown the meat? Not yet, I'm gonna get this set, then brown the meat. Brown your meat, girl. All right, so now we got the, uh, the base layer of a pie in there. Let's throw our trash away, grab our venison, and let's head over here to the cast iron skillet. Now, before I started that, what I did is I went ahead and preheated my oven at 350. That's what the package says on the crescent rolls. So follow the directions and you should be good to go. So what I, what I got here, is I got my cast iron skillet preheated a little bit, put a little oil in the bottom of it, just so it get a little get a little warm, and we could get the sucker going. All right, and here we go. Flying in my face. Too long. <sighs> Extinction. Freaking stink bugs. They've infested my home. Flying around in my lamps. Landing on me. Being all stinky. All stank nasty. Not no more. Not around the home cooking hunter. I will put you down.
Okay, so once your meat gets about halfway cooked, get a little, little pink, like a little medium rare looking, we want to go ahead and add our onion to it. So we'll just dump that right on top. And you can tell because you'll get kind of that froth, a little bit of liquid building up. That's about the best time to do it. It's going to get all, all those juices are going to get the soap, soap. All them juices are going to soak up right there off flavor. And uh, after you do the onion, while it's sitting there, go ahead and do a couple of pinches of sea salt. Two and a half. Boom. And then some pepper. Fresh ground pepper. Don't be too afraid of it. Put that sucker in. Cool. All right. Mix that all together and let it finish cooking. So our meat's done. And what we want to do is turn off the eye, pull it off the heat, and now we're going to add our jalapenos. The reason I don't add them before is because I don't want to cook any heat out of them. They're not real hot anyways. They just add a little bit of spice to it. But what little spice is there, I don't want it to, to be gone. I don't want it to get gone. Okay, so after that's mixed up, make sure we get our oven glove and a hot plate. Because here comes the fun part. All right. So, we got our pie here, we got our meat, we got our cheese. Before we put anything inside of it, like a Michael Jackson glove, no. We want to put a thin layer of melted butter, base it on the bottom here, and along the sides. Whoops. All right. Oh, shoot fire. All right, so I got the butter basted in there. Now I have to get, <laughs> I have to get my Michael Jackson glove back because I got to grab this hot cast iron skillet. <clears throat> what we're going to do? Real simple, pull that out. We're gonna do a layer of meat. Oh yeah. Looks good, smells good, gonna taste good. That's right. Do a layer of meat in here. Spread it around. Get up there, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Get up there. Okay, so after you do your layer of meat, here comes a layer of cheese. Dump it in there. That's right. Now, maybe wondering what size baking dish I used. To be honest with you, it doesn't really matter because if you use this amount, whether you spread it out thin or if you want your big honking thick slice of it, you can put it in one of these deeper dishes here. All right, there we go. Next, more meat. Mm -hmm. Let's just get it all in there. There we go. All right. Last but not least, more cheese. All right, last part. Crescent roll dough. Hate these things. Now, unroll this, get these stringies off here where I cut it. Unroll this, and I'm gonna put it on the top. I kind of push it up on the sides here and press it down a little bit into the other crust to kind of get it to fuse. And you can see it on the side there how it's coming together. Alright, there you have it. All we gotta do now, put a layer of butter across the top, thin layer, baste it on, and she's ready to go in the oven. Let's get you going. I'm basting this pie for you. Mm. Girl, girl, I'll baste this pie for you any day. Crap. 
got a lake of butter up there. <laughs> got a little crazy with the butter. <laughs> okay. So, everything's done. Here is our venison pepper jack pie. What are you getting tickled about? Uh, we got our venison pepper jack pie. The package says between uh, 20 and 25 minutes, but from experience, I put this in the oven for about 27 minutes. So you can safely say, depending on your oven, between 25 and 30 minutes, you should be good. You get a golden brown on top, test it with a toothpick, you'll find out soon. Let's chuck it in the oven. I don't really chuck it in the oven because that'd be a big mess. So our pie is done, we're ready to pull it out of the oven. We gotta grab our Michael Jackson glove. Pull it out. It took me about 25 minutes or so before it come out. A golden brown. Now, I always try my stuff, so I'm gonna preemptively grab me a brew. Cause it might be like lava in my mouth when I take the first bite. Man up. Uh, smells good. Get my plate out. Boom. And then my fork. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Okay, here we go. Let's dive in. Oh yeah, you just hear the, the crunch of that flaky, delicious goodness come on out of that bit look at that guys look at that gooey cheese that looks fantastic okay here we go and as is custom I always try the food just so you see me eating it you know <laughs> that is delicious Mmm. Woo! Yep. A lot of lava. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. That's what's up. I'm telling you what. This is... This is one of the best meals that you can prepare. And it's simple and easy. So flavorful. So easy to prepare. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Like I always say, food is like kids. If you need a little love, care, and attention, nine and a half times out of ten, it's going to turn out just right. Like me on Facebook, subscribe to me on YouTube, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching The Home Cooking Hunter. Get some more of this right here. All right, so I about forgot how good this was. It's fine. Fantastic. Um.